It's a beautiful day for a walk, Ori. It sure is. And it's a great way to share our neighborhood with all our viewers. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Miss B, I forgot to tell you. Happy National Junk Food Day. National Junk Food Day? I didn't know that day existed. Yes. It's a really special day. I heard about it on the radio, but I don't know what it means. National Junk Food Day is a day to celebrate junk food. Celebrate junk food? Well, I don't exactly know what junk food is. Junk food is food that may be tasty and fun to eat, but it is not good for your body. It does not have nutrients to help us stay healthy and grow strong. Instead, too much can make us sick. That sounds scary. Are bananas junk food? Oh no, bananas are very healthy and good for you. Candy is junk food. Candy? Oh no, but I love candy. I know, and it's okay to eat a little candy sometimes, but too much is a bad thing. Hey look, speaking of candy, here's the candy store. I'm sure all my favorite candies are in there. Well, since it's National Junk Food Day, this candy store is selling everything for 50% off. That means I can buy a whole lot of candy. Be careful, Ori. That's a lot of candy. Make sure you don't eat it all at once. Okay. I have a feeling this isn't going to turn out very well. Candy is so good. Ori, slow down. I told you, too much junk food makes you sick. But I feel just fine. How can candy be so bad when it tastes so good? Okay, Ori. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay. By the way, where did the word candy come from? Candy first came into English from Old French. The French borrowed the word from the Arabic sukkar candy, which means piece of sugar. Sukkar sounds just like sugar in English. That's because the word sugar also comes from Arabic. Both candy and sukkar came from Sanskrit, a language from the Indian subcontinent. The word sugar probably comes from Sanskrit because sugarcane is native to India and other countries close by. What sugar cane? Sugar cane is a tall grass that is naturally sweet. People grow sugar cane and turn it into the sugar we use in our cookies and cakes and candies and... Ice cream? Ori, no! You've had enough sweets today. But I love ice cream. Even more than I love candy. Uh, Ori, are you okay? I'm just fine, Miss B. Are you sure? You don't look so good. Maybe you're getting sick because you ate too much junk food. Oh. Actually, Miss B, I don't feel so good. <laughs> My stomach hurts so bad. That's because the things you eat go to your stomach as a part of the digestion process. Digestion is when our body changes food into something our body can use. And it all starts with what we put in our mouth. In fact, the word stomach comes from the Greek word stomachos, which came from stoma, meaning mouth. This is because the digestion process starts with what we put in our mouth. The food goes down our esophagus, which leads to our stomach. Mm -hmm. Our stomach has juices that break the food down into fuel for us. Too much sugar is hard for our bodies to break down, so it just sits in your body, which makes your stomach hurt. Uh, maybe you were right. After all the candy and ice cream, I think I made a mistake. 
That's okay, Ori. We all make mistakes. That's a part of growing up. Even grown-ups make mistakes sometimes. Even you? Even me. But you know what? This gives us a chance to teach our viewers a new prefix. A new prefix? Oof, oof. I want to help you teach it, but... Mm. No problem, Ori. I brought you some hot tea from the kitchen because I knew you would get sick. Here, sip this and relax. Thank you, Miss B. So what's the prefix? The prefix is miss, as in mistake or misplace. The prefix miss means bad or wrong. That makes sense. A mistake is something that you did wrong. That's right. And misplaced means to put something in the wrong place. Oh yeah, I do that sometimes. Me too. And then I can't remember where I put it. There's also misread. What do you think that means? Well, I think it means to read something wrong. That's right. Like if you read the word bread as breed because you didn't know EA can say eh. Or if you saw this word and said ballet instead of ballet because you didn't know that the T is silent. So what is a word that means to spell something wrong? If you said misspelled, you are correct. Wow, so many words that we can learn just from knowing the prefix miss. Exactly, that's why etymology rules. Yes, because words matter. Yes, and knowing words can help cultivate your mind. That means to make your mind grow. Thank you so much, Miss B, for teaching me these words and for teaching me about junk food and for the tea. My stomach feels a little better now. No problem, Ori. And as always, thank you for being an awesome sidekick. Let's wave to everyone. See you all next time. Yeah, see you next time. Thank you for watching the Etymology Woo Show. Please like, share, and subscribe. See you again next time. <laughs>